Brian Beatty came over the other night. We did the camber on the rear wheel since my camber was at like negative seven. Nobody cared about adjusting it, even though all the suspension's adjustable. Uh, after adjusting my camber positive, uh, my toe was so out of whack that I would drive down the road in first gear and I could just feel the rear end trailing really bad. I believe I can see the future. which I think the back side of this wheel was definitely in about a half inch too far and had the wheel just pointing that way from right there and it looked ratchet. Um, we have already adjusted this. Um, I, I'm kind of 50-50 on whether I have this set up right or not, but I know what I'm doing right now is slightly symmetrical and I don't have anything around the house that I can plate, that I can toe plate with and do the slits and the double measuring tapes. Plus I'm subject to one measuring tape up there. So what I did do is I stretched the cord out, obviously, throughout the front and back of the car. And then I measured my gaps here. My, wheel, my wheels are as straight as I can get them without having actual digital readings from like an alignment shop or a machine that does this stuff for us. So I think it's running four and a half inches from here and here to this string, which gives you a, a level, you know, center of line to go straight back with. And then once we measured this, like I said, I think this portion of the wheel was just like a half inch out too far so we ended up pulling the back of the wheel out and obviously turbo josh's wife amanda was holding a baby while measuring while measuring the gap holding the baby and i would make adjustments which is very simple um i don't know what your crap entails if you're running stock toe arms still or traction arms whatever they call these legitimately but mine are adjustable. So I'm literally in here with the car off the ground, rotating it and rotating to the right on the, the driver's side will kick this portion of the wheel out that way. Now we just got done setting this one up, which I probably went at least 20 hand cranks that way, you know, towards that wall over there, just to get this wheel to where it should be. Because clearly where it was, was not working. Now before I adjusted my camber, it was fine. It like negative seven degrees. The toe that it had was apparently adequate enough for me to do in excess of 130 miles an hour because we already have. And uh, doing the camber, it was just ratchet. It was super unsafe and completely different. So after this, we're going to take it out and test it. I know it's going to work, but correct me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, just comment down below and tell me what I'm missing or what I should have done differently. But uh, I'm definitely making adjustments. It's definitely going to be better than it was. And that's all I care about right now, at least because I have to go to Georgia in two days so i'm trying to throw this together because i got a drift event tomorrow i probably won't even make but we'll cross our fingers and we'll do that side as well again that arm over there is what i'm adjusting i believe anything you adjust on one side of the car will be opposite adjustments on the other side so if you twist to the right over here to kick that wheel out it's going to be vice versa i'm pretty sure because camber was that same way camber went one way over here and it was opposite rotation on the other side of the car so uh, i'm going to finish this up and hopefully we'll be able to drive straight. This is definitely something that you should do if you have adjustable arms, or even if you don't, you can find out if you have like the low bolts that allow you to align, but this will save you a lot of money. I would have spent at least $120 getting everything aligned, and uh, I just did camber and toe in two days, and it's very simple stuff. You'd be surprised how very simple it is to do this stuff. We did the camber, camber with a level, and Brian brought over like uh, a weighted angle gauge from Lowe's. Very, I think he said it was like two bucks. You put the level up against the wheel, then you put this gauge up against the uh, the actual bar, and it'll it'll go to zero if it's at 90 degrees. And that's how we got the you know the zero camber. So also very 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 simple stuff. Um, you just got to be willing. I think I've literally been so in the midst of making horsepower cars that I've never stopped to think. I've never looked into how to align my own car, and this will be the first time, a decade or two into my modification of cars. So uh, I hope you like this. All right, we're done with the tow. Uh, we'll ride it like six and a half and back two lines on both sides of the wheel back here now. We came out at least an inch. That's how bad it was off, and it obviously reacted that way because I could swerve the car and it would feel like it would feel like I was a, a semi-trailer, but without two back wheels. I just felt like a snake. That's how bad the toe was. 
So again, I, I went off the front wheels. It's not the most reliable way to go, but again, I knew it was out of whack and I got to adjust at least an inch on both sides. So this is a very effective method if you don't have, I've got cooking sheets, but I'm not gonna slot them and I don't have another measuring tape. So I'm not gonna do that concept, but you know, I haven't dropped a video in a couple days and uh, I wanna go out and test this thing real quick. So I figured I'd make a video about this, uh, you know, adjustable toe string alignment but yeah if you like this video if it helped out give it a big thumbs up if you're new here make sure you subscribe if you do subscribe hit the notification bell for me i appreciate you for watching and we are growing by the day so get on the squad get behind the j mob and uh be one of us because it's only going to get crazier and we got a drift event tomorrow so cross your fingers we might go we might not i'm not sure it really depends i know my thrall bearing is now completely faded so we got to drop the transmission again and we're going to put an oem back in there because spec sucks and spec robbed me of my flywheel initially so we'll go with an oem one and hopefully we should situate that problem right then and there for the most part thanks for watching nine inch nails